Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are old yet, thanks and if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a Christmas party flyer using Adobe Photoshop. Before any further ado, let's get started. Over here, I'm using 1080 by 1080 for social media posts. Alright, and my resolution is 300. So the next thing now, I'm going to copy my background color code. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Come over to your solid color. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. Then create a new layer. Select your brush. Or you press B using your keyboard. Then increase the brush size using your bracket key. Make sure that the color here is white. Then you come over here and I'm going to click something like this. Then go to your blending mode and I'm going to use color dodge. Right. Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. And over here, this is the font I'm going to use, Christmas Story. Then go to your font and search for color or you Christmas story. Okay, over here is the font. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. And increase the font size. Something like this. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it and bring this one down. Select your test tool, highlight it, and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font to F Jala. Then change the cap to capital letter. Something like this. Then reduce the font size. Hold your shift key while you select the two tests. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus A to select all. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. You can use your arrow key then to move this one up a little, something like this. Then before I continue, I'm going to create my background. Then import this one over here. Reduce the size. Position it at the top here. All right. Then this one I'm going to reduce the opacity to 23 something like this then you can change the blending mode to color dodge then ctrl plus j to duplicate it or i'm going to leave it normal also this one leave it at normal then bring this one over here. Then flip it vertical and horizontal. Okay. I'm going to bring this one. Reduce the size. 
and position it at the top here. Then this one I'm going to reduce the opacity to 19. It's okay. Then come over here. I will bring this one. No, I'm going to bring this one, sorry. Then take it up like this, okay. Then change the blending mode to screen. Apply your layer mask. Then you blend it like this. And reduce the opacity to 20. Something like this. Okay. Then this one, I will take it back this way. Then bring this flower. Place it at the bottom here. Then change the blending mode to color dodge. It's okay. Then also bring this gold shining vector and reduce the size like this. It's okay. Go to your blending mode and change it to color dodge. Now we bring this one over here. Reduce the size and position it here. Increase it this way. Alright. So the next thing now to do, I'm going to bring this one. Reduce the size. something like this then duplicate it and now we take this one over here then import this one reduce the size it's okay then duplicate it and reduce the size position it somewhere here then duplicate it and now position this one here all right then also i'm going to import this one reduce the size i'm going to flip it vertical and uh, horizontal then you bring it here. It's okay like this. Now I'm going to my background to import star. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Then position this one over here. Then duplicate it. Now we take this one over here. Then I'm going to locate this one and I'm we increase the size. Something like this. Okay, so now the next one now. I'm going to bring this one. Then reduce the size. Then duplicate it. And now we position this one over here. Then flip it horizontal. Something like this. Alright. So the last thing to do now. We are going back to our test. Then to copy this one. 
Then select your test to then control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to make a copy from here. Adjust. Okay. Then control plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then control plus D to deselect. Then go to your test to make a copy of this one. Control plus C. Select your test to and control plus V to paste. Change the font to white. Then select your test to highlight this one and apply superscript. Then I'm going to duplicate this one and copy the location. Select your test to why you alight this one, then control plus V to paste. Then apply center alignment and uh, reduce the font size. All right. So over here is the outcome of the test. Now hold your shift key while you select it and increase it a little. So this is the final result. Remove the cap over here. So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share.